Hello again. The short-term forecast will be a little bit tricky this week. Things perhaps not moving on quite as much as I'd hoped. So this time last week we've seen rather more showers around. And in some ways a similar problem for this coming week. A little area of low pressure just sitting out over the North Sea. We expect that to move away, but uh, it could well take a little bit longer. So we'll keep an eye on that over the next couple of days. But the general trend should be for this area of high pressure to topple in from the Atlantic, bringing fine weather to many parts of the UK. Bit of a change in type though, middle of the week. You can see a deep area of low pressure move Moving across towards the north of the UK, that'll introduce more of an Atlantic influence to our weather, certainly bringing some strong winds and occasionally rain, more particularly to northern areas. To start with, though, the strongest winds will be coming in down the North Sea, making it feel quite chilly, I think, along some of these eastern coasts. But then midweek, it all switches around. The wind's starting to come in from the Atlantic, and it's then that we start to see that thicker cloud coming in, bringing occasional outbreaks of rain to the more northern areas. Cooler winds as well from the northwest. So after some relatively mild nights for much of the week, looks like things will start to cool off, I think, uh, particularly Friday night into Saturday. Too early for frost yet, of course, but uh, it is going to start to feel a little bit chilly. But not too bad this afternoon, given some sunshine, we can see temperatures getting up into the low 20 Celsius, so the low 70s Fahrenheit, very pleasant where the winds stay light. So the best of the sunshine always, I think, across uh, Northern Ireland, those western parts of Scotland. A little bit disappointing at times down that east coast, some clouds spreading in here off the North Sea. And where the cloud breaks up further south, the sun comes through, the cloud will bubble up again, and we could see one or two heavy showers coming through, but most places, I think, will manage to miss those. Tonight, though, where we've got the clear skies, it'll turn fairly cool, 9 or 10 degrees the low across Scotland, down through towards the uh, Midlands and across Northern Ireland. But we need to look out into the North Sea because we'll find this thicker cloud just edging in as the night goes on, bringing, I think, some drizzly outbreaks of rain for many of these eastern coasts, which means it could be a bit of a disappointing bank holiday, I think, for central and eastern parts of England, that cloud spreading further inland as the day goes on, holding the temperatures down. But head further north and west and a good chance of another dry and fairly sunny day and again feeling quite warm in that sunshine. Not very different for Tuesday, yet yeah, just the chance of some showery outbreaks of rain just nudging in across that southeastern corner, a bit more in the way of cloud for northern parts of Scotland as well, just bringing a few bits and pieces of light rain but not really amounting to a great deal. But we start to see those Atlantic weather systems coming in through the middle part of the week. This first front, fairly weak feature, just bringing some cloud in across Scotland perhaps down towards northern England. Very little rain on it, but a different story through Thursday night and into Friday. A little wiggle on that weather front, bringing some heavier outbreaks of rain, possibly to Northern Ireland, more likely Scotland, though, before it all pushes through, introducing that cooler air as we get through towards the end of the week. So Wednesday, rather more cloud around generally, I think. Uh, quite misty and murky to see some of these western coasts, but still fairly mild just about everywhere. Thursday, we start to see that patchy cloud coming in. The rain, remember, across the north on Friday and turning cool in that northwesterly breeze.